Uh, I'm Boris from Boredom uh, Sated. And I'm John from Bo Boredom Sated. And uh, we're here to describe to you the five uh, most useful uncommon items in D&D 5th edition, based upon our opinion. <laughs> <laughs> these are, so, a lot of these are pretty fun. We try to stay away from uh, attuned as much as possible, because obviously these are uncommon. And later on in, in leveling, you're not going to want to use your three slot attunements, attuned items for, for low end stuff. Yes. So uh, let's begin with the honorable mention. I really enjoyed the Jug of Alchemy because uh, it's just a useful item to, to have around and it really adds, uh, you know, different. Um, items that you you can pour out of it beer uh, acid poison basic poison but still and it's useful all the way through you know uh if you think a little bit outside the box and you have a gm that's willing to work with you you know hey uh we can't pick this lock well all right let's burn it with acid you know it's it, it's there type of thing and at number five we use the Decanter of Endless Water, which has three modes. And the most powerful mode is 30 gallons of water gushing out in a geyser. You can even use it as a minor weapon. <laughs> but yeah. having 30 gallons of water and no limits to just, hey, keep running 30 gallons of water. Well, you know, my background, that would be a legendary item. <laughs> Here in normal land, in normal forgotten realms, it's an uncommon item. And pretty useful. You don't have to worry. You can do salt water. You can do fresh water. It's your choice. You really, yep. you know, you won't have any problems, you know, keeping water around. Yep, definitely. Uh, the next item, uh, um, number four, is goggles of night, which gives you um, uh, infra, uh, uh, dark vision. And uh, because it gives you, you, it even extends the dark vision if you already have dark vision. So it's really useful, you know, just for characters who don't have dark vision. And then for those that do, they can even see further. It's just sort of a no-brainer. It's a really great item. At number three, because they're so rare to have a permanent version, the flying items, the, um, the, the flying broom and the, the boots of flying are, are uh, both there at number, number Wait. three. Winged boots. It's the winged boots. Winged yeah. boots. So, yeah. you, know, it, you know, it's very difficult to get, you know, things that fly for more than one minute in 5th uh, edition Dungeons & Dragons. And therefore, you know, these are two permanent items that are uncommon. Um, depends on what your needs are, is which ones. The winged boots are probably good for your average guy. If everybody has them, great. Uh, the, the room of flying... Is, is good if you need maybe uh, up to 400 pounds to haul stuff to take another passenger that works there. Um, so it all depends on, on your needs. If you want both, who knows? Yep. So um, number two is uh, we, we sort of gr uh, group these all together because they are really useful. In my, uh, uh, but, uh, it, you know, every stat is different, which it's important. And it's all the stat 19 items such as the handband of intelligence or the gauntlets of ogre power. And, uh, you know, raising your stat that's a 10 to a 19 is, I think, just a no-brainer. Just adds significant value to your character. Um, if you have a wizard or a sorcerer that is into making items, hey, your all your lost stats that you decide to you either rolled or you sort of uh, kept low because you, you needed primary stats, all of a sudden jumping to 19 is not a bad thing. And at number one, the most important thing of all, hands down, uncommon, of course, is the bag of holding. Up to 500 pounds and 64 cubic feet, you can just shove stuff. It only weighs 15 pounds on you, and here you're holding about 500 pounds. A lot of great place to put your coins of course don't don't get it damaged because you know <laughs> stuff will be lost in the astral plane but this is something almost every, every character needs 
that's like the first thing you're looking for. When can I get a bag of holding? Because I am holding too much stuff. <laughs> yeah, especially when you find find those uh, treasure uh, uh, treasures of dragons and ancient liches and lo- uh, lords. And, you know, especially if your GM is like, yeah, congratulations, you have all this <laughs> loot. How are you going to get it out? Yeah. <laughs> you know. And this is used uh, throughout the level. Even if you're level 20, you probably want a bag of holding. Obviously, there's a little bit more upgraded versions, but they're not as portable as this thing. So... Yeah. Uh, bag of holding is something you're going to have right on you all the time. You can even hide out in it 10 minutes of breath, something like that. But, hey, it's there. Yeah. <laughs> and, and 64 cubic feet is, is quite a good amount of space for a little yes. bag. Yes, yes. Definitely a choice throughout every level in Dungeons & Dragons. So... Um, if you guys uh, like this video, want to hear more about magic items in 5th editions, please uh, make a comment, like, subscribe. Uh, let us know uh, if you feel any we missed any item that's better than on the list. We, we'd like to hear it. And I'm Boris from Board and Sated. And I'm John from Board and Sated. See you later. And have a good one. Thank you.